They have teeth, one blowhole, and ex excellent echolocation. Then you have the baleen whales. You have uh, numerous out of all the whales. The cetacean group is what it's called. If you look around, guys, you might see a little dolphin swimming next to a larger dolphin. That's a cow-calf pair or a baby dolphin and its mom. The baby dolphin will ride the right next to the larger dolphin to uh, harness the uh, slipstream or the energy of the dolphin make, uh, map moving through the water here, which allows them to uh, look, get a little. Oh, oh, you're fine. face downward naturally. So I see a couple of them turn over on their sides here. Definitely looking up at you guys. They are very smart, intelligent creatures. Scientists say that uh, the bottlenose dolphin, which is a distant relative of these guys, is the third smartest animal on the planet. Okay. We are first boy or something to play with. Now if you look up ahead of us, you'll see some birds. Those are shearwaters. Those are going to be diving into the water. Those animals can actually dive down up to 100 feet to feed on fin bait. And so that's probably where the large bait ball is right there, right off our bow. That's where most of the dolphins look like they're heading anyways. And they'll work with the dolphin to ball up that bait into a tight bait ball, which makes it easier for all the animals. To... Now these animals uh, do need to eat about 13 to 15% of their body weight every day, which would be like you or I eating maybe 20 or 25 cheeseburgers, quite a bit of food. And they will search up to 100 miles a day in search of that amount of food. Actually, the only whale that we get actively migrating through the area here would be the gray whale, which is happening right now. They come from Alaska, they go down to Baja, Mexico. Most all the other whales that we see in the area are here to feed and looking for this sort of situation right here. Blue whales feed on krill, which you wouldn't find dolphin or these birds, but uh, all those other finback, humpback, minky whale, brides whale, all those feed on these uh, fin Or cry. Uh, the males will get up to about 800 pounds, females about 250. That is starting to look like a male there. They're distinguished by a larger forehead, it's called the sagittal crest, and when they become mature, it turns 